Oh hey, didn't see you there. Why is my hair? Today we're going to be doing something a little bit, I guess, simpler than the simple script that I initially thought of because these are actually way simpler, but they're, they're also cool at the same time. So let's get into it. So we're going to be using on left click again, kind of similar from before, but this time we're going to be doing something weird with it. We're going to check if it's just a block. We just want it to be any block because what we want to do is make it so you can punch any block and it turns into a bat and flies away because why not? After about five minutes of searching, I found this page again where I can, you know, see all the particles so I can spawn some particles where the bats are spawning so it looks a little bit cooler and it's not just like the bats are flying out of nothing. And that's what we're gonna do here, real quick. Okay, let's give it a little test now. Let's see what it looks like. It's not really that good, so I think I'm gonna have to loop it. We're gonna have to use a loop to make it look cool. <laughs> but when I hit it, you notice that the particles are actually in the ground, so we're gonna have to raise that by one, and we're gonna do that here. It looks way better. I mean, it definitely works now, and you can see it, but my FPS is tanking every time it happens. I guess looping 50 times is a little intense. So let's drop it down to 10 times. We're only gonna loop it 10 times, not 50. I guess that's fine. Kinda wanted 50. Maybe a thousand. You never know these days. It's definitely a lot less laggy now, so that's a plus. This could get pretty dangerous though, you don't want too many bats flying around. Isn't that kind of like, unsanitary? We're gonna have to get away, or figure out a way, how to get rid of all these bats. I just wish there was one. Now that we can kill off all the bats, it doesn't hurt to mess around a little. You know, just have a little bit of fun. So for this next one, I was thinking of something a little bit more trolly, because you know, Minecrafters being trolls sounds like what they would do. And I was like, hey, wouldn't it be funny if you just like opened a chest and a TNT appeared on top of it? That would be hilarious. And that's what we're gonna do. Here we go. Here it comes. I'm gonna troll myself so hard! Yes! Now that was an epic troll. Wouldn't you say? The next thing I wanted to do was instead of TNT falling on top of the chest, it just fell on top of the player. But you can see what happens here. I'm like really confused. So then I'm like, well, maybe it wasn't high enough? I didn't take any damage from it? Aren't you supposed to take damage from anvils? But when it falls from 10 blocks high, it still doesn't do any damage. I don't... I don't know. I didn't really spend much time trying to figure this out. I think it probably was because I'm spawning an anvil entity instead of an anvil block that's actually falling. 
I don't know. This would honestly be so mean to add to your server though. Someone's just like, I gotta put away my diamonds, you know? And then they just blow up. This next one goes out to the earth. Respect the environment. Throw out your trash. Recycle. Plant trees, you know? I actually ended up learning something here. It, apparently, if you don't, like, remove it from your hand, you keep the sapling? Uh, for some reason, even though this is an on-place event, I don't really know why this interaction exists, but usually, if you want to keep it, you have to cancel the event. But, for some reason, it's automatically canceling. So I'm going to have to remove the player's tool to fix this. Kind of weird. But now that it's fixed, you can only save so much of the environment. Maybe it was better before. It's my mistake. Now for the next one, this seems a little bit more practical, you know? Maybe you want to give everyone on the server the ability to have haste whenever they break something. So, you know, they just combo everything out. Get to dig faster, you know, maybe a hundred haste. You know, that's balanced. You can use your fist to mine everything. Seems fair to me. If you also notice when I, whenever I open my inventory, instead of just having 10 seconds of haste, because of not adding a piece of code that actually removes the effect before it applies the next one, it just keeps adding up. So, you gotta watch out for that stuff. Now I got kind of bored and I kind of wanted to make a, you know, my own water walking. So I was like, eh, well, how do you, how do you change blocks that you're walking on? And also don't really do this, like, don't do this on like a serious server because it's super laggy. Like, doing an on any movement event is called so frequently. So just don't even bother if you're on a, you know a pretty populated server that you're not messing around on. Eventually I somewhat get a crude code going of this where I can walk onto a block and it'll set the block below me to a glass block. But this still isn't the best way to do it. Now when I'm walking on blocks with this command, I'm setting the blocks that I'm stepping on to glass instead of the blocks below me are getting set to glass which works a lot faster and that means that I just have to walk on the block and then it sets it on instantly instead of setting it behind me which was weird but that's how it works here's the moment we've been waiting for walking on water wow I can't believe this is happening even though there's a literal item in the game that you can just walk on water and you know, ice is spawned below you. But it's great. This is revolutionary. You couldn't do this without script. It's very intuitive. You just have to download script and you gotta write the code instead of enchanting your gear. Like, that's gross. Who would want to enchant stuff? Yuck. This is really laggy too anyway. There's no way you could do this and have it so that other people on your server would be able to do this. It's like I have one gigabyte of RAM in the server and it can barely handle me running across the water. But sometimes it works fine. I wonder why it works fine sometimes and why it doesn't. Maybe I'm walking across multiple blocks in one area instead of just a straight row. Eh, whatever. Just silly stuff. Alright, that was the second part of my simple scripts tutorial. Thank you for watching, and please subscribe if you'd like to see more. Actually, just please subscribe if, you, if you're here. Just, just do it, you know? Just why not? You have nothing to lose. Just do it. Come on. You haven't clicked it yet? What are you trying to pull? What's your problem? It's too late now I remember you and me
and how careless we be. Yeah. All day and all night, we'd stay up, it felt so right.